It's a very special morning here. It's the 70th anniversary of the EAA. It's not all about just air venture. We've got a lot of history that we need to learn about here. And I have Dick Napinski with me right now. You've been teaching me so much this morning. And there's some pretty cool planes behind me. Can we talk a little bit about those? Sure. These are all of the airplanes that Paul Poberezny, our founder, designed. He designed 15 airplanes throughout his entire life. These are three of them right here. Uh, the one over here on the far left side is the baby ace that was in mechanics illustrated in the mid 1950s at the time you could build it for less than eight hundred dollars it, it made eaa very popular at that time in a national magazine the one in the middle is a, called the pober sport and this one in 1960 was taken by Anders Lundberg and flown throughout the entire U.S. This airplane, open cockpit, more than 10,000 miles, was put on it, uh, flying from place to place throughout the entire U.S. And then the one at the end is Little Audrey. It's one that was designed, uh, and Paul designed, restored that airplane, and named it after his wife. And so that is Little Audrey. So these are three of the pioneering airplanes from our founder. Uh, just three of the more than a hundred here in the museum. How long did it take him to make these? Do you know? Well, typically a home-built airplane takes anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 hours to build. And these are all from sets of plans and not from kits. So it took a little bit longer. And I can tell you having helped build an airplane, there are a lot of rivets in the airplane and it takes a while. And so uh, making everything together, make sure it's airworthy, get it inspected by the FAA. You can fly it for years and years safely, but these are three very early examples from the 1950s. This is awesome to see. I can't believe he did that. So uh, talking a little bit about home kit building and things like that, at Air Venture, you guys actually build a plane from scratch throughout that week, don't you? We've done it, yes. Last year was another example, the one week wonder. Monday morning, we open up the crate, start the kit going. That was a Sonics airplane from right here in Oshkosh and was put together uh, by a group of volunteers and by people who came in, popped a rivet and became part of the building process. And we taxied it out the final day of Air Venture last year. I remember being able to vote on the color and the scheme that you guys are going to paint it. Pretty cool stuff here. You have some an interesting event coming up as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yep, Winter Flight Fest coming up on February 11th. We'll have ski planes here if snow hangs in there. So I'm gonna hold you responsible for that to make sure we have enough snow for them to land, have family activities inside the museum. And then on March 11th, we have our flight at the museum, a beer food tasting extravaganza, five course meal with beer pairings. Tickets on sale for that right now for March 11th. Uh, there's one thing that I have to ask you, a ski plane. Oh my goodness. How in the world, is it hard to land and take off with skis on there? Well, it's a little bit different because you've got a little more drag on the skis, but certainly you have the power, you take off. Nice thing about cold weather, airplanes take off faster than they do in hot weather. And so you've got meteorology working for you, the skis will put a little more drag uh, when you're taking it across either a field or a lake. Oh, amazing. I want to do that one day. Thank <laughs> you so much for all that information. We've got even more that we are flying into here this morning, so keep it here. We'll be right back after the break.